There is yet another insect causing problems for trees and shrubs in areas across the state of Pennsylvania, and it's popping up in backyards right here in the Delaware Valley. It's known as the spongy moth, and it can be a real danger to America's forests. Action News is Walter Perez live for us now at Penn State, the extension there in Collegeville in Montgomery County with more on this pest. Walter. That's right, Shari. There have been initiatives across the Delaware Valley to take down hundreds and hundreds of dead trees killed by invasive pests, including the spongy moth, as you mentioned. But a recent uptick in the population of that pest in particular has state officials very concerned. This graphic shows how the spongy moth, previously referred to as the gypsy moth, has spread and been a problem across the northeastern U.S. for a long time now. But officials from the Pennsylvania Game Commission say the spongy moth population in central PA has exploded over the past year or so, and this video shows the result. It's estimated the spongy moth damaged more than 850,000 acres across the Commonwealth last year alone and their meal of choice is oak tree leaves. Caterpillars are voracious and they just chew on, um, they, they chew on their host plants, the leaves and defoliate it. And they reproduce in big numbers. Each egg mass can be several hundred to a thousand eggs. In response, the state has initiated a massive pesticide spray campaign in an effort to knock down the number of those invasive pests as much as possible. Now, it's important to note the spongy moth population in the Delaware Valley has not yet hit the threshold to warrant spraying in our area. All areas being sprayed are forest districts and state parks, and those are primarily in the north central part of the state. And the good news tonight is early indications revealing the spray campaign is beginning to work. I have heard from some of our contacts in um, Center and Clinton County that there's a pretty marked difference between areas that were sprayed and areas that were not sprayed. So the sprays are um, where they're being applied have been very effective at protecting those areas. Now, state officials also say the spray campaign covers hundreds of thousands of acres of state land, and we're told the pesticides they're using are approved by the FDA. For more information about the spray campaign and the pesticides they're using, please go to 6abc.com slash links. Reporting live from the Penn State Extension in Collegeville, Walter Perez, Channel 6, Action News.